those traffic lights are down and that's a cop directing traffic. In this video, we're going to see if Tesla full self driving beta stops for traffic cops or if I'm going to jail. Let the tests begin. Let's take a U-turn here. Let's see what the Tesla does when there is absolutely no traffic around me. It looks like FSD beta is taking it slow. Is it going to stop? Almost there. It's slowing down, it's going slow and it stops. Whew, that was only the first test and that was stressful enough. All right, so let's see what it does when it's time to go. So it waited for the officer to move out of the way and it took the suggestion of that car on my right and it started moving, but it did hesitate. But the hesitation is good and keeps me out of jail. That was the first of many tests. We're going to go through this intersection many more times coming in from several directions and lanes. Keep watching to find out if the Tesla full self driving beta performs or if I'm going to jail later in this video. On to the next test. Here I'm stopped in traffic. I'm waiting just behind this white SUV. I can't see the police officer from here. So traffic starts moving. I can finally see the officer now and Tesla seems to be not be bothered. It, well, it's supposed to stay on this left lane, but uh, I guess it chose to stay on the middle lane for some reason. Let's run that back again. It looks like the car saw the officer just a bit too late, but it already saw that the car in front of me was moving and it saw the traffic lights that, that was not functional. So I guess it decided to follow the car in front of me and just go. Even though there was a pedestrian, which was the police officer, it did not really stop for anyone. It just kept on going. It seems that Tesla FSD beta doesn't just blindly follow the traffic control signs. It also listens to all the cars around. So this brought something into my mind. What if someone is running a red light? Would FSD beta see that as confirmation for you to go and run a red light as well? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Would Tesla FSD run a red light if someone runs a red light too? Or would it just sit there and do nothing? Keep in mind that the lights here are completely turned off. There's no flashing red, there's no flashing green, there's no red, green or yellow lights. All right, so we can safely say that Tesla FSD beta did pass that test and we can now move on to the next test. <laughs> the stakes are a little bit higher on this one. The traffic cop is right in front of me. Now, before we do that test, here's me again with the traffic lights completely functional. We're waiting behind this red car and once the lights are green, the car should turn left. It looks like the car is turning left. It is choosing to be on the right lane, which is the lane I'm supposed to be in, considering that it was the rightmost lane of the left turn. I have FSD beta turned on and now it's just waiting to make that left turn. All right, now he's asking me to go. Uh, whoop, nope. That, that was horrible. Oh God, nope. With no cars around me, the Tesla FSD beta worked horribly. And if I didn't take over, I would have been in jail. So I can say without any doubt that Tesla FSD beta failed that test. So with the lights functional, it does look like FSD beta does perform well. If you have been following FSD beta and how it drives for a while, you probably know that Mr. FSD is going to loop around a whole neighborhood rather than take a simple U-turn. Well, look at that. Just a bit further, we are coming up to a U-turn. Do you think Tesla FSD beta is making this U-turn? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Who made this U-turn? Was it FSD beta or was it me? I'll reveal the answer at the end of this video. Now, we're coming up to another difficult left turn. Let's see if Tesla passes this one. The last one oh wasn't God, so no. great. As we drive towards that intersection, let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible people who watch my videos. Under normal circumstances, exclusive access to Tesla FSD beta comes with a $16,000 price tag, and I don't have that lying around somewhere. However, thanks to those of you who not only showed your support by liking and subscribing to my channel, but also took an extra step by using my Tesla referral code for your purchase. 
This overwhelming show of support earned me credits, which I used to redeem 3 months of FSD beta. And that's not even the best part, anyone using the Tesla referral code also gets 3 months of FSD beta access as well as some cash off the purchase price of their new Tesla. So if you are looking to buy a brand new Tesla, I'll link my Tesla referral code down in the description. And if you are buying your first ever Tesla and you're not aware of the unique way on how Tesla cars are purchased, I'll also link a video up here where I break down the entire process of getting a Tesla from start to finish. So you know exactly what to expect step by step as you buy your first Tesla. But wait, before we take that left turn with the traffic lights not working, let's take this left turn again with the traffic lights working. As you can see that the lights have turned green, all the cars are resuming the drive, the car is fully on Tesla FSD. It is slowing down a bit, but it takes this turn flawlessly. Now let's get back to the scenario without the traffic lights turned on. Alright, let's take this left turn. As you can see that the lights are completely turned off. Traffic cop is still there and the Tesla doesn't seem to mind. I guess as long as there's other vehicles around me, it follows them and not the person directing traffic. All right, we're gonna try this intersection again from the leftmost lane. Right, right now, the lights are not turned on and traffic is moving. The Tesla FSD does not care. Even though there was a pedestrian there, it seemed to be not be bothered at all and just continued on. Similarly, this is what it looks like when the lights are turned on. Again, the car is fully unbothered and just keeps on going straight, which is what it's supposed to do. Now let's try the center lane. As you can see, there's enough traffic around me so the car can kind of tell on how to act even if the lights are turned off. It looks like it's aware of the traffic around and it's just following the car in front. Even though the lights are off and we see the traffic cop in the last moment, it smoothly navigates through this intersection again. So we've tried two lanes, so why not try the rightmost lane? The lane that has the least amount of visibility with the traffic cop. I'll slow down here because the car is going way too fast. You can see that there's so much traffic that I can barely see the traffic cop. Yup, it just blasted through. It did not care. It saw the traffic cop just for a second here and it did slow down just a little bit. But when the other car started going as well, it just kept on going. Well, that's all the tests that we're going to run today. I'm not going to push this too far. I think the Tesla did exceptionally well and I don't want to start pushing my luck. Except oh, that one oh, left no. turn where the car was completely alone and it messed up really badly. And I would have gone to jail if I didn't take over. Other than that, the car did quite well. What do you guys think? Would you be comfortable putting the car in FSD beta in times like this? and if the car is going to be able to recognize traffic cops in the future and act accordingly. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Now, before I go, here's the video I promised I'd show you guys about the Tesla taking a U-turn. Now, if you guessed that it was Tesla FSD taking the U-turn, you are correct. After a recent update, Tesla seems to be doing better taking U-turns than before. I hope you guys enjoy the video. See you on the next one.